Some say this movie was terrible. Some say this movie was great. Some say this movie is the equivalent to Endgame. Well, I'm here to tell you, you're wrong! Listen, I'm sorry, okay? Listen, I'm sorry, headphone users, but this movie is not the equivalent to Endgame, nor will it ever be. This movie is not at all terrible. This movie is not at all great. It's okay. It's good. This is what I'm here to talk about. Star Wars, The Wise of Skywalker. Hey everyone, S-Dub Nation here. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I'll post some more rankings or reviews of Star Wars, The Skywalker Saga. Without further ado, let's get into the review. instinct the feeling the force brought us together we're not alone good people will fight if we lead them people keep telling me they know me no one does Long have I waited, and now you're coming together. Is your undoing? What, uh, what are you doing there, three PO? Taking one last look, sir. At my friends. Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. Your destiny. That, wow, what a ride, what a bad ride, this movie, this movie's trash, okay, listen, it, it sucks, okay, it's, it's not at all great, okay, it's definitely not terrible though, I will give it that, it's definitely not terrible, I, I can see where people get, you know, the relationships between it being an end game, because there is a lot of fan service in this. There is a lot of fan service in this. That what brings us into the good. And really the good about this movie is that there is a lot of fan service. J.J. Abrams, of course, is a fan of Star Wars. You can see that in The Force Awakens. But he has to pick up the mess that Ryan Johnson left behind in The Last Jedi. And that's really the main problem of this movie. But like I said before, the CGI is great, just like how it was in Force Awakens. But I felt like the story was a little bit down, but the character moments were great. And it's just a Great Star Wars movie. It's a lot of fun. You can rewatch it anytime that you want. But that kind of brings us into the bad. And I really felt the bad about this film was that the whole film was bad. It, it wasn't terrible, like I said before, but it definitely was not great. And I felt like 
Ryan Johnson made his own movie, a Star Wars movie, in his own universe. Last Jedi was in his own little universe. Whereas this movie and Force Awakens feel a little bit more connected together. That's one of the better parts about this movie. But like I said, this is the bad and that is why it's bad. The movie, since Last Jedi veered away from doing Rey's parents' storyline... Then Rise of Skywalker has to go back into Ray's parents storyline. I just don't feel that Ray's parents storyline does not work in this movie whatsoever. Her being a Palpatine does not work in the overall Star Wars 3 trilogies. It does not work. Her being a Skywalker, it does not work. It's just so many things that does not work and that they're on a schedule of putting out these movies every two years. So... They don't have a, a lot of time, you know, to write the script and think about think about this type of stuff. Think about things that connect. They're just doing what what will make the fans happy. And basically, this is what this movie is. That's that's really what this movie is. It's just fan service, just like how Endgame was. It was fan service, but Endgame fan service serves something to the plot of this movie and any movie that comes after it or TV show. But in this, nothing feels satisfying. Nothing feels like it's concluding. It just feels like another generic Star Wars movie in the sequel trilogy. And that's really where it it falls flat on its face at. Obviously, this movie, since it's a Star Wars movie, I would give this movie... Eh, a 7 out of 10 on the entertainment scale. And yeah, if you're a Star Wars fan, go check it out. Go check it out in theaters if you're a Star Wars fan. Any type of Star Wars movie, you have to go check out in theaters if you're a diehard Star Wars fan. But for people like me that just got into Star Wars and not too sure about this movie, you can obviously always bootleg it. But if you're, if you're like... If you're a little bit higher than what I am, because I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but that you know a lot about Star Wars, but you're not a diehard Star Wars fan, it's a DVD cop. So, me, I would bootleg it. Middle half, get a DVD version of it. But if you're just a diehard fan, you have to see this movie in theaters because obviously it would please you with the fan service. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.